So uh, we're just going to review a few of the achievements uh, and some of the progress we've made during this uh, during the eight-week uh, program I've written up for you. So uh, at the beginning of the program, uh, you were running a park 5k run, uh, and you were running this in about 17 and a half minutes. And uh, you said to me your goal was to try and get sub 17 minutes uh, because it was, it was a very tough course. Obviously, it's a part off-road, part on-road, uh, with some tight corners in there as well, some uphill, downhill, so it's quite an undulating sort of uh, surface to run on. Uh, so, at the beginning of the, of the uh, program, we were doing things like uh, three times five minute mile efforts, and uh, we were doing some drop sets, so 90 on and 30 off, and then it would go down to 80, 80 on and 40 off, but would up the pace from a it start at a marathon pace and a half marathon pace and a 10k then a 5k then a 3k if we still had a bit of gas left in the tank so speed was picking up all the time uh, obviously you had your park run every Saturday as well so you were still taking care in that uh, obviously some time the times were sort of plateauing a little bit for you and uh, they were dropping steadily but nothing too major. So uh, we were reviewing some of those things as well after you after you did your your 5k run. I, I was keeping track of some of your times on the internet as well. Um, obviously, we tried out some different tactics for you. We uh, we I remember on one of our runs, we went. Uh, you were talking to me about how many seconds you lose during uh, a particularly tight corner, uh, which just ruins all of the pace you've built up. So I suggested that you should uh, take more of a, a racing line, as if you're in a car, approach to the corner and just sort of drift. So if it's a left-hand corner, drift over to the right and then just nar narrow the angle down more so you're flattening out the angle rather than changing direction really qu quickly. Uh, and you gave that a go and apparently it worked, uh, worked quite well for you, so uh, that, must have, that probably took a few seconds off your time as well. Uh, but to sort of progress through the uh, through the program, uh, we recognise that we're going to have to start doing some anaerobic uh, threshold training, and uh, sort of like push you out of your comfort zone uh, a little bit. So um, obviously, me not being uh, at my peak fitness at the moment, uh, it sort of uh, it helped me a lot because I can I'm probably a bit of a, a quicker sprinter than you. So we tried uh, we did some Tabata sessions on the treadmill We're in the, the leisure centre. We did. Uh, three sets, three sets of eight. Uh, so that was 30 on, 30 off. And obviously, I was in control of the, in control of um, the speed. Uh, I think we were going from, uh, I think at one point you got up to about 21 kilometers per hour for 30 seconds, and then it was coming back down to 11 for 30 seconds. So it was a, it was a really tough session for you. I think that really pushed you out of your comfort zone. But I think towards the last set, you were. You were starting to feel it a lot more, and uh, at one point it even looked like you were kind of enjoying it. <laughs> uh, another session we also did after that was um, we did a hill sprint session over the park. Uh, there's a, a little footpath at the side of the um, the multi-storey car park there, so we were sprinted. We did ten sets sprinting at that, at about uh, 80 to 95 percent efforts. Uh, obviously, when we got to the top, we'd just uh, turn around and have a jog recovery back down. Uh, but obviously that really did push you out of your comfort zone, and uh, it was so it was it was uh, it definitely helped I think. Uh, after well, we also as well as that on the same day we did some fart fart like running around the park as well. Uh, we were jo uh, like jogging in between bins, and then from bin to bin uh, we'd do a sprint effort as well. So that was sort of about uh, maybe a five second five or six second sprint followed by about a, a thirty. 20 second recovery as well. We did that for about 10, 15 minutes. Um, and obviously, uh, towards the end of the program, we were also going out and doing. Um, we were doing. We were doing three times 500. Uh, three times 500 meters, or we were doing three minute efforts followed by a three minute rest. Uh, I can remember the one week we went round uh, Hinton, and uh, I added on an extra little loop. Of uh, onto the run just so we could get one last set and uh, get a decent warm down and cool down in there for you as well because obviously 
it was very important to cool down after a really tough session like that. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, uh, and obviously towards the end, uh, we can see the times are dropping a lot more. And I believe that the last time that you achieved when you were at your park run was uh, 17 minutes and 3 seconds. So, uh, judging from the start, which is about 17 and a half minutes, going down to three seconds just over 17 minutes uh, has really made a difference and uh, hopefully it was due to the training and all the hard work we put in with some of the anaerobic work as well as uh, still concentrating on maintaining your uh, aerobic fitness and the muscular endurance within some of the uh, the longer sessions we had. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Lee.